I prepare all my frames by running a bead of silicone caulk all the way around the perimeter of the back of the frame where the glass meets the frame. It'll dry for 24 hours and then after that I take painter's tape and run that around the perimeter of the frame just to prevent any resin leaks as an extra precaution. Most of my frames I pick up from garage sales and thrift stores at reduced prices. Once in a while I'll buy a new one, but they are very expensive and you can get quite nice ones for a lot less at garage sales. Then when I was done with that, I started going through my tumbled glass. This is glass that I prepare myself by running it through a tumbler from four days to a week. It's glass that I find at garage sales and thrift stores that has uh, pretty colors. And I specifically look for glass that is not painted because if it has a finish on it, the finish will come off in the tumbler and it'll turn to clear glass. Anyway, what I did was then I arranged the pieces of glass in the shape of a Christmas tree and I had some pieces of jewelry. I also get jewelry at thrift stores and garage sales and I used a brooch for the star and a piece of a bracelet for the trunk of the tree. Now I'm getting ready to prepare the resin. When I use resin, I always wear gloves. I use a respirator. It's in your best interest to use a respirator and to do it in a well-ventilated area. For this project, I'm using a resin called Dr. Crafty Resin. I've tried multiple resins on Amazon and they're all basically the same, the craft resins. They're a one-to-one -one ratio. You mix one part resin, resin to equal parts of the hardener. And once you get them both into the container, you mix them. You mix it slowly. The slower you mix it, the less bubbles you'll get. You have to be sure to scrape the sides and the bottom as you mix. You have to mix it for two to three minutes. A lot of times when you first start mixing, it's a little bit cloudy and it starts to clear once they're all mixed together, once they're both mixed together then you're ready to pour it onto the project. Some people like the glass to be frosty. I like it shiny. If you want it to be frosted, then you should put the resin down first and then put the glass on top of it. I pour the resin over the glass. I really didn't see any bubbles so I did not use the heat gun, but normally when you use the heat gun, the heat gun that I have has two settings, low and high. I always set it to the low setting because um, when you have it on the high setting, it's too strong. It'll blow the resin right up over the side. And then on the back is the temperature setting, and I always set it up to 500 degrees. It can take up to five minutes to blow the bubbles out, depending on how many you have. Be sure when you smooth out the resin that you push it up into the sides and the corners. Although it says it's self-leveling, it really needs to be smoothed out. I took some um, fake snow crystals. I think I picked them up at Dollarama and sprinkled that on the bottom. I thought that looked real cute. And then I continued to smooth out the resin around the tree. Once you have it set the way you want it, it needs to dry on a level surface for 24 hours at temperatures between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's even though you have it sealed in the back with the um, silicone caulk and also have the tape, it's a good idea to have the piece of protective paper under it also just in case it leaks. Then I took these uh, white sprinkles. They're a little bit thicker than the snow and I sprinkled a little more on the bottom and then around the sides and then I re put the star back on the top and then it was done. 
After it was done, I decided it needed a little something more. So I took some E6000 and I cut up a white and gold beaded necklace that I had and I attached that in three or four different places with the E6000. After that, I let it dry for about an hour and that seemed to do the trick and hold everything in place. The E6000 really works great for holding things in place. Years ago, my youngest daughter used to be on a competitive dance team and the moms used to sit around and attach the crystals to the dance costume, sometimes for hours. And we always use the E6000 to attach the crystals to the costumes. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button and would you please consider subscribing. Thanks. See you again next time.